not need to be in a caloric deficit to lose visceral fat. Excuse me, Ms. Ma'am. I don't know where you heard this. I don't know where you learned this information from, but it's not accurate. Hi, I don't know your first name. Your tag is Bikinis and Biceps, and it looks like you're a personal trainer, and it says MPH, so Masters of Public Health, so that's that's amazing. Um, I have the usual training for someone who went to medical school and did an OB-GYN residency. I'm also a culinary medicine specialist, so I did 18 months additional training to become a nutritionist. What went wrong? Where this went cut off? Okay, first you claimed you do not need a calorie deficit to lose fat. Absolutely 100% inaccurate. So you're going to think this is really, really cool. I said visceral fat, which is very, very different than subcutaneous fat. There's some really exciting new information that has come out about the differences between subcutaneous and visceral fat. Subcutaneous fat is the fat we all know about. It's the fat under the skin, the fat you can pinch an inch, it gives us our curves, it gives us cellulite, and it drives us crazy. It is very reactive to calorie expenditure. Visceral fat, however, is the fat that is intra-abdominal and deposited around our organs. This fat is very metabolically different than subcutaneous fat and seems to have a significant resistance to caloric restriction. Things that drive fat to the viscera include poor nutritional choices that are pro-inflammatory, androgens such as testosterone, high cortisol levels, inflammation, etc. It is very possible to have a normal BMI and have very little subcutaneous fat, yet have a huge amount of visceral fat. The process to lose visceral fat and subcutaneous fat is going to be the same in creating the deficit. So my suggestion is just do what I did. Dig a little deeper into the latest research in visceral fat, its causes, and its treatment, and I think you will learn enough so that you can become an even better advocate for the people who are buying your program. Good luck.